Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. I have already completed uh, about more than 60 plus video on ETAPS 2016 and, uh, and it's also 2016-2017-18 the work procedure is same and um, there I have discussed about every basic phenomenon of ETAPS 2016 after that, I have uploaded about especially wheel load analysis and uh, earthquake load analysis procedure. And after that, I have also worked for a 10 story professional building. And now I am going to do some uh, professional and uh, technical terms like pushover analysis and response spectrum analysis. So, in this series, I will complete about pushover analysis and response spectrum analysis procedure. As I have done uh, my BSc thesis on nonlinear statistic analysis, I mean pushover analysis uh, with respect to response spectrum analysis. That's why I thought that uh, if I share that with you, that may be helpful for you and uh, in this lecture I will try to draw our model so let's start first of all I'll open ETAPS 2016 and you can use um, ETAPS 2015 2017 2018 and I have done in both four version and um, their work procedure are also same so first of all I will click here a uh, new model and if you have any basic problem you have to go our tutorial series the link are given in description and then um, you can also learn about our ETAPS tutorial or ETAPS working properly so first of all I will use saved user default setting and I'll go first cause I will not discuss uh, details in here uh, to draw model uh, and uh, define an SN load on it because uh, I have uh, done that many times in our previous video so if you don't know about that you have to uh, learn that at first and the link are given in description in list base so select that press ok then from here I have to draw a model and I will take a simple model so number of grid grid line in X direction I will consider that it will be 4 and a number of grid line in Y direction it will also be 4 and it will be 15 feet into 15 feet I can also consider that uh, that's that's 5 okay so that's 5 and uh, it's okay after that I'll consider number of story number of story that will be 5, five story and topical story height will be 10 feet and it will be Okay, suppose I consider it's, it will be 6 feet, bottom S3 height, and then grid only, then press OK. Also, I am telling you that if you are new here, you have to watch the previous video, I mean our previous ETAPS tutorial series, so that you can understand everything about every details on ETAPS. So, after draw our grid, our selected our grid, then we will go for define. First of all, materials property. Uh, I will take <coughs> the materials property from here as default. Uh, I will use our concrete as uh, 4 ksi and our steel as 60 grit. So I'll use that two for our uh, analysis. That's why I'm not going to change that. Press OK. Then I'll go for different section properties. Then section select section I will delete multiple I'll delete 
everything and I'm going fast cause I have done that in our every video in our previous so press ok then click here add new properties so from here concrete rectangular and then here concrete after that first of all I will select beam and our beam will be 10 inch into 18 inch our beam will be 10 inch into 18 inch and after that we have to go here uh, reinforcement so from here we have to select beam and everything will be as default here 60 grade 60 grade ok then press ok after that we will delete that because that is not mandatory for us after that we will again go add new properties and select concrete here and uh, from here we will consider 18 inch into 18 inch section after that we will go here and we will select here uh, P, M2, M3 design column and uh, from here we will select our enforcement rectangle and confirmation bar I mean it will be tie so and the enforcement is to be designed uh, after that it will be as default so press ok and from here we will select materials 4000 PSA then press ok so sorry I'll go for here I'll give that name column column and uh, to save by time I'm just uh, going that first and uh, here I have select only two portion beam and column uh, and everywhere I will use that and for your model you have to uh, draw that model as you record and if you don't know how to draw model and how to analyze for that you have to watch my previous video so okay then again I'll go uh, define then section properties and slab section then I will delete that and slab one I will modify double click and I'll modify that slab and I will take 6 inch slab and from here shell thin it will be as, as like as it will be slab then ok then press ok after that our uh, we have uh, defined our property so after that I'll go for draw so I'll go in that is story this is our ground floor so first of all I'll go here draw column so draw beam so to draw beam I'll select from here frame and from here we have to select beam and it should be one story or we can use all story as uh, we are So from here it should be on a story and after that also by clicking here we can draw all a story and after that sorry from here I'll select that draw quick beam column so that I can so that I can draw quickly and from here I'll select beam then from here I will select wall and you are seeing that we have founder beam in every floor if we see in 3d mode sorry okay press here and if we go in extrude mode here we have founder 
pim so after that we'll draw our column so also we'll select from here all a story and we'll click here quick draw columns and here properties will select column after that it will be default as like as and after that from here will cover every portion so have drawer every column here we have draw every column and after that we will draw from here we will draw quick draw quick floor and also we will click here and from here property we will select slab and after that we will select all story and I am selecting all story it does not uh, mandatory for you that you will select all story I am selecting here because our model are a simple model. I will just show you that how will analysis. I am not going to analysis properly as a professional. When you will do it as a professional, you have to draw your model as requirement or as you need uh, about your plan. And then you have to draw your model. And uh, you will found that video in description. So you can watch that. After that, I will select slab from here. For every story, I'll draw slab. So I have draw slab, and in our bottom story, we were saying that there have the slab have drawn. I will delete that. Here, I'll select wall. Sorry, I'll select wall, and then press delete. So, sorry, sorry. Uh, after that we have to select one story from by clicking here and then I'll click here pre-select here for that portion I'll select okay I will select again that for on a story and then I'll press delete okay it's done and I'll select all that support and I'll provide here you have to press a one story and I will go assign joint restraint and for fix support click here fix support apply then ok if we zoom it's showing that fix support so our model is ok now we have draw our model and in our next video I'll show you that how will I draw for our uh, sorry how, how will uh, define our load pattern and how will assign that and after that uh, tutorial to tutorial I will show you about response spectrum analysis how will do that and after that I will show you about pushover analysis so S2L stay connected till next video thank you thank you very much